Hello there. My name is Mr. Lawrence. I teach children just like you to play instruments, and my instruments are the violin, which looks like that, and the viola, which looks like that. If you put them together, you can already tell the difference in the size there. So these are members of the string family. I'm going to show you um, the parts of the violin. Um, it's basically made of wood, three types of wood. We've got some black wood at the front there, and we've got some pine wood at the front of the body, and at the back we've got some stripy wood called maple. So we're, basically it's like a body, so you've got a long neck, a head called a scroll at the top, four tuning pegs, shoulders, ribs, um, holes shaped like the letter F and we have a tailpiece and a chin rest. A little piece of wood at the front raises up the four strings at the front and on the back we have a shoulder rest which actually comes off and that is a comfortable cushion for your, for your shoulder because of course you put it on your shoulder and hold it with your chin on the chin rest. So if I pluck the four strings with my finger, you'll hear the different sounds of each string. And you can hear the last one was much higher than the first one. That's because they're different thicknesses. So thick strings play the lowest notes. And as they get thinner, they get higher the thinnest one at the top there. I'm going to show you the strings on the viola because they're different to the violin. In fact you'll hear the difference. Look at the same way but the first string is much deeper than the violin's first string. They are getting higher but it can only go up to that pitch. So it, the viola is a deeper sounding instrument than, than the violin because its box is bigger, its body is bigger and its strings are longer and thicker. So once again you can tell the difference between the two. So how do you play the violin and viola? What do you need? Well you need one of these things that I'm waving about in front of me called a bow and a bow is a thin stick of wood with some white hair attached to the end and if I put my hair of the bow onto the strings it should make a sound but actually I can hardly hear anything at all. That's because you can see the hair is very very um, slack so what we need to do is to put this bow together properly and tighten the hair and of course some of you will already know that this hair comes from the horse's tail. So I'm winding the hair and as soon as I put this pin into the end of the bow I can turn it and it's already pulling the horse hair much tighter. I don't know whether you can see that's much tighter now. It's tight enough when you can get your little finger kind of in the middle of the bow there. So now I'm ready to play the four strings on my violin once again and you'll hear the difference with the bow now. So obviously the sound is a lot longer because the bow lasts longer, makes the sound uh, much longer than plucking. The sound has disappeared. I can play the viola strings with the bow. It's going to sound much deeper. Just like that. So now I've got my bow tightened up, my violin under my chin. You can play all kinds of music on the violin, um, play classical music like this.
and on the viola. You can also play classical music. On the violin you can play a bit of folk music like this. On the viola you can play a bit of jazz. Like this. And you might have noticed my fingers were going really fast on the strings and I haven't told you why that is. So basically each um, string can have four fingers on it. So that's what it sounds like on the viola. Uh, on the violin it would sound higher but the four fingers gives you all of the notes you need to make all of these songs that I've been playing. You can play music on TV, um, from cartoons like The Pink Panther. Viola. So on the violin, you can play film music like this. Viola. Of course, it takes a lot of practice to play the violin and viola. Um, first of all, you've got to learn how to hold it. And you start learning the names of the strings and how to do the plucking. Then you've got to learn how to hold the bow in a special way and balance the bow because it's very long, it's very awkward. And you mustn't press on too hard, of course. Otherwise, it's going to sound pretty awful. So the idea is to get a nice smooth, notes going on without hitting the other strings at the same time and then you've got to learn how to play long and short notes which we call rhythm when we, when we put those together and then we've got to learn how to do each finger on every string so that's going to take probably about a year to to put all of that together and get confident on that. So you've got to decide if you're going to learn these instruments, whether you have enough time to do some practice, you're not too busy with other activities and so on. If you would like to learn the violin or viola, please ask your teachers uh, for the information which I'll have given them on how you can join. And hopefully see some of you learning these instruments very soon. Thanks for watching.